Influenza The Best Treatment Options Treatments for influenza include a range of medications and therapies that are used in response to disease influenza. Treatments may either directly target the influenza virus itself, or instead they may just offer relief to symptoms of the disease. While the body's own immune system works to recover from infection, the two main classes of antiviral drugs used against influenza are neuraminidase inhibitors, such as Xanamivir and Oseltamivir, or inhibitors of the viral M2 protein, such as Amantadine and Remontadine. These drugs can reduce the severity of symptoms if taken soon after infection and can also be taken to decrease the risk of infection. However, virus strains have emerged that show drug resistance to both classes of drug. Stay at home. Get plenty of rest. Drink a lot of liquids. Do not smoke or drink alcohol. Consider over-the-counter medications to relieve flu symptoms. Consult a physician early on for best possible treatment. Remain alert for emergency warning signs. Warning signs are symptoms that indicate that the disease is becoming serious and needs immediate medical attention. These include Difficulty breathing or shortness of breath. Pain or pressure in the chest or abdomen. Dizziness. Confusion. Severe or persistent vomiting. In children other warning signs include irritability, failing to wake up and interact, rapid breathing, and a bluish skin color. Another warning sign in children is if the flu symptoms appear to resolve, but then reappear with fever and a bad cough. The flu treatment you should take depends on your symptoms. For example, if you have nasal or sinus congestion, then a decongestant can be helpful. Decongestants come oral or nasal spray forms. Decongestants are used to reduce swelling in the nasal passageways. However, nasal spray decongestants should not be used for more than a few days because, if they are used too long and then stopped, they can cause rebound symptoms. If you have a runny nose, post-nasal drip, or itchy, watery eyes, then an antihistamine may be helpful for your flu symptoms. Antihistamines block the effect of histamine, and help relieve such annoying symptoms as sneezing, itching, and nasal discharge. Over-the-counter antihistamines often make people drowsy, whereas decongestants can make people hyper or keep them awake. Keep in mind that both decongestants and antihistamines can interact with other drugs you may be taking, and they may aggravate some conditions. Talk to your doctor or pharmacist about which flu symptom treatment is best for you. If you need immediate relief for swollen, congested nasal passages, you may get relief with an over-the-counter decongestant nasal spray. It is important to stop using decongestant nasal sprays after three days to avoid the development of rebound congestion. Some doctors suggest using a saline spray instead of a medicated spray. Saline sprays loosen thick mucus in the nasal passageways but have no rebound effect. They may be used for extended periods of time without significant side effects. Decongestants can increase blood pressure and heart rate. Pseudoephedrine and phenylephrine are oral decongestants commonly available in over-the-counter products. In general, if your blood pressure is well controlled with medications, then a decongestant shouldn't be a problem as long as you monitor your blood pressure. This may not be true, however, with certain types of blood pressure medications. Check with your doctor or pharmacist about safety. An occasional cough may clear the lung of pollutants and excess phlegm. A persistent cough should be diagnosed and treated specifically. On the pharmacy shelf, you'll find numerous cough medicines with various combinations of decongestants, antihistamines, analgesics, antipyretics, cough suppressants, and expectorants. Ask your pharmacist which combination, if any, would be appropriate for your cough. Children should avoid aspirin, acetaminophen, Tylenol, or medicines like ibuprofen, Advil, Motrin, and Naproxen, Aleve, are over-the-counter options for fever and pain relief. Each medication has risks. Check with your doctor or pharmacist as to which medication may be suitable for you. Be careful not to overdose.
These drugs are often mixed in with other multi-symptom cold and flu remedies you may also be taking. They may also be ingredients in other prescription medicines you may be taking. Your pharmacist can help you check for drug ingredients and interactions. Drinking lots of fluids and using saltwater gargles, made by combining a cup of warm water and a teaspoon of salt, can often be helpful for easing the pain of a sore throat. Over-the-counter pain relievers and medicated lozenges and gargles can also temporarily soothe a sore throat. Get your doctor's approval before using any medications, including over-the-counter drugs, and don't use lozenges or gargles for more than a few days. The medications could mask signs of strep throat, a bacterial infection that should be treated with antibiotics. Antiviral flu drugs are taken to decrease the severity and duration of flu symptoms. In some cases they may be used to prevent flu. They are best taken within 48 hours of the onset of symptoms, but they may still offer benefits if taken later. Talk to your doctor about your health situation because most antivirals do have side effects. At the first sign of flu symptoms, talk to your doctor about whether antiviral drugs might benefit your child. These flu drugs can help a child get better sooner and may prevent serious flu complications. Antivirals work best when taken during the first two days of illness. However, the drugs can still help when given more than 48 hours after symptoms start.